Good morning, everybody. I've got to keep today's video very short because I've got places to go, people to see today, but I couldn't pass up this headline from MSNBC. Totally irresponsible behavior. Trump returns to White House, removes mask. And you can see a quote from President Trump. Don't be afraid of COVID. This is what's really disturbing the legacy media right now. Actually, there's several things. First is this. This is why I found it so funny. The legacy media is bragging on the president for removing a mask in his own house. <laughs> I don't know about you. But I have visitors over at my house from time to time during this damn panic. And although here in Hawaii, mask wearing is more or less obligatory and universal. Everybody who comes into my house, once they're inside, they remove their masks. I'm not being totally irresponsible about this. I'm only inviting close friends and family inside my house for right now. But... To think that President Trump would have to wear a mask inside his own house? Ridiculous! <laughs> and let's get down to what the press is really afraid of. This damn panic that the legacy media has created. Well, it kind of falls apart where the president is diagnosed with the beer flu, goes into the hospital, Spends a weekend there, tweeting and having a good time and going out for a car ride. He goes home. He starts work after just a few days, still suffering from the beer flu. Proving to everybody that you can be old, overweight, have pre-existing conditions, and still survive the beer flu. Now... We're not denying its existence or that it could be deadly. Just that it's not the boogeyman. It's not somebody hiding underneath your bed in the dark. 